week, I would like to welcome Larry Spano and our honored guest for our wonderful school. We are so proud to live in Yonkers, the city of where you're living. And now I'm going to pick this town in the Lower Hudson Valley. <laughs> in New York, the Empire State, and the United States of America, the best country in the world. Please stand and join me in deciding the Pledge of Allegiance.
mighty sweep, thy mystic canyon sea, thy mountains wider than sea, all thy domains. Thy silver eastern strands, thy golden gate that stands wide in the west. <coughs> thy flowery southland fair, thy sweet and crystal airs, O land beyond compare, thee I love best. We thank you for the honor of being named School of the Month. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's certainly a pleasure to be here uh, at School 8. I want to start off by introducing some of the dignitaries who came here today to be with all of us. The President of the Board of Education, Dr. Nader Sage, is with us. Thank you, Dr. Sage. And I'll ask, him to, I'll ask him to speak in a little while, so you might want to, you know, think about what you want to say. And Dr. Dr. Y, thank you, the superintendent of our schools, for being here. The uh, minority leader of the Yonkers City Council, Mike Sabatino, is with us. And of, and of course, my councilman and the councilman for School 8, uh, Councilman Mike Breen. And to uh, Principal Langan, thank you for inviting me here today and, and let me be a part of today's uh, festivities. So, so we're here to recognize, we're here to recognize DiCiero as the school of the month for May of 2015. Now, you guys should know, this is the last one we will do for the school year of 2015. So I think that uh, when they say we've saved the best for last, right? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Your principal, uh, the administration here, the teachers here, uh, certainly uh, uh, the parents and the PTA are all doing a wonderful job to ensure that you get the education that you absolutely deserve. And we know uh, that every big city um, across America these days has challenges. Hey, Joe. And, but what sets us apart, what's really, what sets us apart from these other places is that we will be um, judged by how we meet those challenges. And uh, that's what DiCiero does each and every day. You've taken your challenges, you've met them head on, and you've put impressive programs in place that have gotten you today's recognition, like the Balanced Reading Program, the Literature Based on Instruction, uh, the Book of the Month Club, and all your literary literacy activities. You promote citizenship and outstanding uh, behavior through the positive action program. That's something that's very, very impressive. Uh, we all know that reinforces that you feel good about yourself and it reinforces what you do for other people. Paying it forward each and every day, doing something nice for somebody. If it's not just maybe helping your neighbor cross the street or helping her inside her home with their, or his home with, with the groceries. It's doing something as simple as saying, good morning, how are you today? So our Yonkers students are very special and I want you, each and every one of you to know that we are advocating for our kids each and every day. Now I know that the whole issue of the budget weighs heavy on many of your heads. It does mine, that's for certain. Uh, but know that we are out there at the state capitol fighting the fight, and I expect some news out of the state capitol soon. I anticipate it to be good news, right? But until I hear those good news, until I hear that good news, uh, I'm not going to rest. I'm going to continue uh, to keep pushing. We've been spending a couple of days a week there. Uh, I know I've been there. I know the President of Board of Education has been there. Your superintendent has been there. Your council members have been there. Uh, the, it's truly the civil rights issue of today really is making sure that each and every child in our communities has an equal opportunity at getting a great education. So, and, and that's why we fight so hard. We fight so hard because our kids are the brightest. 
Our kids are the most determined. Our kids are the most deserving. And you know what? Our kids are the hippest now. That's right. So I encourage each and every one of you, keep it up. I know you've been, uh, I know that many of you have been advocating, been going to some of the public hearings, been going to some of the demonstrations. Keep it up. It's good. And you know what? It's good to go with the governor, the delegation, your members of the city council, and me. Because know that once we're done with Albany, then we will have an opportunity to relook at that budget. And know that, again, we have been rebuilding our school district step by step, one foot in front of the other, making restorations as we've gone forward and making our city the best city. And I think that's one of the reasons why we have this resurgence in our city, because we are paying attention to the things that matter most. Um, but it's not something that happens overnight. It's something that uh, it takes a bit of fight, and we're doing it, but it's something that uh, each and every one of you need to know is the highest priority, at least on our list. Um, but that's not what we're here today. We're here today to give this great award to this great school. And I want each and all, I want all of our young people to know, I apologize again for my back, um, but I have your back. And as the mayor of Yonkers, I get the opportunity to do something really cool. And the city council gives me this power through the city charter, right? The city charter, just so you know, is the constitution for Yonkers. So the federal government has a constitution, New York State has a constitution, and we have what they call a city charter. And in that city charter, it spells out all the powers that the mayor has, right, and the city council. And one of the things that they give me the power to do, which is probably the most fun part of my job, is to declare a day. And when we declare a day in Yonkers, what we do is we, we take that day and we have a book in the mayor's office. And in the book, you can flip to the day. And what is today's date, right? Today is the, God, I can't see anymore. The 4th of June. I don't know about you, once I hit 50, it all went downhill. So uh, the 4th of June. So if you go to the book, when you get a little older, if you go to City Hall and you go to the fourth day of June in the year 2015, you're going to see in that book that in the city of Yonkers, it was the Patricia A. DiCiero School Day here in the city of Yonkers. How's that? And, and you all got that honor, not just because your principal and the administration, uh, the teachers, and certainly uh, the parents who all do a great job, we know they do, but you got that because you all worked very, very hard and you're being recognized for that today. So I'm gonna ask your principal to come up and to accept this proclamation. Great. So I'm just going to ask the principal to hang out with us a second. Uh, the president of the Board of Education, Dr. Nader Sage. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Education, I want you to know the Board of Trustees joins with Mayor Mike Spano, our City Council, and our Superintendent, Dr. Yazulo, to congratulate what uh, historically has been known as School 8, but we know that it's the DeCharo School. So congratulations to the entire DeCharo School organization on this well-deserving honor. I'll tell you, for me, being a lifelong Yonkers educator myself, I've had the pleasure of working with your principal, uh, Mrs. Langan, and I recall the many years of commitment she displayed as an effective leader, providing professional development to fellow administrators year in and year out. And to see and witness her work here at DeCharo is truly amazing. And I know...
and we congratulate Mayor Mike Spano on really earning the recognition as the educational mayor. So we'd like to publicly congratulate him and to join with the mayor and our state delegation and our city council that are here in the fight for more equitable funding for the funds that our kids deserve and need. So keep up the fight. There's many rallies going on, the involvement of PTA and all organizations across the city. We are working together, and there's never been a better time in Yonkers, New York, than you're witnessing the last couple of years with consolidation and education and city government, working with state government and community organizations and parents and unions, all working on the same foundation. We congratulate DeCharo even recently. We just found out that two top winners in the citywide Spell and Bee contest were right here from DeCharo. Stand up. Congratulations. This. Yeah. We we made history. Never before in any school did we have top two. We beat out of pearls. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But I'll tell you, there's nothing prouder for us as educators and the entire Yonkers community. Unfortunately, with all the negative you hear about education. We can tell you, when you rate Yonkers, New York, not only to the big five school districts, but across the state, and you see how many schools in Yonkers, New York, earn the recognition that makes them among the best in the state and the best in the nation, this is a tribute to this community, to the involvement of all individuals, from teaching staff to administrators to parents that support our students and give them the skills they need and the determination to move ahead and make a future for themselves. I am proud to say that Yonkers is on the upswing. As the mayor stated, there's a lot going on. I consider this the renaissance, the rebirth of the city of Yonkers, and we should jump on that bandwagon and keep on to greater success. Congratulations. Best wishes. And at this time, it gives me great pleasure to bring about and call upon a colleague and a friend that I've had the pleasure of working with, and presently, in his capacity as the superintendent of school, he has brought the level of compassion and commitment to our kids to the greatest level I've seen in many, many years. I'd like to introduce to you the superintendent, Dr. Michael Yazulo. Good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure for me to be here. There's about 12 things going on today, but I wanted to make sure that I was here to congratulate uh, School 8, the DeCharo School. You have a wonderful principal. I can't tell you enough. You know, we have some schools that I'll hear from every day, this will happen, that happened, this happened, that happened. Never do I hear from school eight. Ms. Langdon just runs this school like a top, and I am so appreciative of that, and the children are getting a great education as a result of it. Uh, I just want to add a couple of things to uh, what Dr. Sage said. People say to me many times, what high school should I go to? And I say, we have eight, pick one. Because you don't realize how wonderful the high schools in Yonkers are, what they've done. Everybody knows about Saunders going to the world championships in robotics, an outstanding accomplishment. And then to hear the resumes of the valedictorians and the salutatorians. One of our high schools, and I haven't said this yet, and I don't know if I'll say it tonight at Club 90, but one of our high schools, the valedictorian, was diagnosed with autism as a young child. 
fought through it with the help of our teachers and administrators from K to 8, became the number one student in his high school. Wow. So whenever you hear anything that isn't complimentary of the Yonkers Public Schools, just turn a deaf ear because it isn't true. Ladies and gentlemen, school 22, school eight, I'm sorry. <laughs> School, school eight. Right words. <laughs> school eight is well deserving of this award. I congratulate all of you, and I thank the parents for allowing us to educate your children. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce to you your councilman, Mr. Mike Breen. Mike. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm, I'm, plow I'm proud to be here. I'm going to keep my remarks brief because the children have to go back to classes. So I've, about 40 minutes from now, I'll be done. <laughs> you know, I'm happy to be here at Decharo, or as an old dinosaur like me calls it, school eight. It, it's not easy to get in here. Many parents in, are always asking me, how do I get into school eight? And you've got to study. Um, today, Teddy, you're the school of the month. But from what I hear, Decharo is the school of the year every year. And, It's because of all the hard work the students put in. And you guys got up and sang word for word. I couldn't remember some of those words, I'm, but you knew all the words. It's all the, it's all the help you get from your parents, the teachers, administrators. So keep it up. I do have a pop quiz. How many days of school are left? 15. Is that right? Congratulations, everybody. It is a great school. Thank you for letting me be here today. Again, special thanks to the councilman members and who are here today and to the top spellers in the city. Yeah. Congratulations. Come I'm a bad speller. I know. I know. I, I should be proud of that. Not. But I try every day. I really do. But you guys, uh, you made us proud. Congratulations. Give them another round of applause. Principal Langan, the floor is yours. Thank you, everyone. It's great to see you all. I don't know if I really need this mic. I'm in the cafeteria. Welcome. Thank you, Mayor, for coming. Thank everyone that came out today. It's a pleasure. I know how busy you are. Being a principal at DeCharo is a dream. Every day I come to work loving, loving my job. It's because of everyone in this community. We're a community of learners. It starts from the custodial staff. They did a great job getting ready for you. The Mayor Spano, they did an unbelievable job. Our cafeteria staff, every single aide in this building that makes a difference every single day to your child, because every aide in this building is an instructional aide, every TA in this building is a certified teacher, and every teacher in this building counts. Especially, I have a special thanks to my personal staff, Miss Julie and Miss Lynn in the office, who make everything work. to thank my AP, Mr. Schrade, who's on the senior class trip on the going around the island of Manhattan on the three-hour tour. So they are there. But a special, special thanks to the parents, to the nanas, to the papas, to the aunts, to the uncles, to every person that comes in this building to help raise your child. We're one team, we're one community, and I cannot thank you enough and having such wonderful, wonderful children in the building. It is a honor and a pleasure to be here. And I'd like to take this moment to thank Maurice, who actually came to DeChara. Way back there, Maurice. <laughs> and one of Maurice's former teacher, Miss James. Way back there, Flora James. Get over here. Sub position. Thank you, Miss James. 
and thanks the PTA. They are outstanding. It is my honor, my privilege to be the principal, the instructional leader of this school. And I thank everyone at the Board of Education, Dr. Y, and his whole team, and I thank the city of Yonkers. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It's, it's my honor. And I would like, maybe next year or two years, to have all three top winners in the spelling bee. Thank you for coming out today in your busy schedule. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you all.